Are you trying to downsize your wardrobe but winter is coming and we all know how bulky and big those items can be? I'm going to give you five items that you can use to upscale your winter wardrobe that will keep you really warm, make your outfits more versatile, are easy to store and won't break the bank. Plus, you probably have a lot of these already and are maybe underutilizing them like I was. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I make videos all about organization, minimalism, living with less, because honestly, it's the way to go. If you like content like this, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, click that little notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and with all that said, let's jump right in. All right, so I'm gonna start from the top of the body and I'm gonna move all the way down. And here are my easy five ways to keep yourself warm for fall and going into winter. Honestly, New York went from like spring to winter overnight, so I've had to really up my game. And I'm someone who tends to get really, really cold. With the addition of only being able to eat really outside because of COVID, I need to really buckle up when it comes to my winter gear. One thing that I realized was that I was absolutely underutilizing all of my ski stuff. Which, let's be honest, the last time I skied was 2018 and I don't know when I'm gonna ski again. I made a video recently all about my minimalist fall winter capsule wardrobe. I'll have it linked above here and down below. And I basically went through everything that I own with regards to this time of year. And after that video, I realized I left out a box of our ski stuff, which is something that we store and basically never use. And I was like, this is such a waste. So I went through that. There were a couple of things in there that I really felt like, why am I not utilizing these? And I'm gonna show you in case you have that miscellaneous box lying somewhere as well. Okay, so you know how they say, if your head is warm, the rest of you are warm. So you need at least one type of head situation, headgear. So I have one beanie. Um, I just find it easier to keep track of one beanie. And then I have two, I don't even know what you would call these. I showed this in my last video. It's like a head band warm thing, you know? Um, which is actually super, super cozy. So if you didn't want to wear a whole beanie, you just wanted something a little bit more exciting. And then this was one that I bought a long time ago, actually when we lived in Chicago. Um, but I think I used it for skiing. It's like also keeps your ears warm. Um, but this will definitely make you feel a lot warmer. And these are very, very minimal to store and keep. I took two of them and I think it's a great idea to integrate this into your wardrobe instead of piling on so many layers. If your head is warm, the rest of you will be. Before we go on to item number two, I also want to say that I was very inspired by watching too many Swedish winter videos. And I realized that the Swedes, at least in the videos that I watch, the way that they keep warm in like super extreme climates is through layering, thin layering. In the US, we typically wear these very bulky, puffy coats, which are great, like it feels like you're wearing a duvet, but they're more practical because then when you go into stores, well, when you used to, when you go into buildings or whatever, first of all, you're walking around like a marshmallow, and secondly, you get so, so hot. And I think what the Nordic people have figured out is that by having layers, thin layers, you can like peel them off and there's no big deal. So they typically have a thermal layer, which is kind of something that I'm wearing now. Then they'll have some kind of jersey or sweater. Then they might have another jersey or sweater and then they'll have an outer kind of waterproof layer. But they're not necessarily wearing like super bulky layers. And I think that is really the key. But take a lot of inspiration from them. Anyway, let's move on to item number two. So moving down, we're going to the neck. And this, I think, makes a huge difference. And these are scarves. Of the scarf showed in my previous video. This one is from Everlane a few years ago. It is an infinity scarf, which I feel like is just super easy to style. It looks nice without you really doing anything. You just fold it over twice. It's super warm and cozy. It's black, so it goes with everything. And really, I mean, I could just have this. And this is definitely the scarf that I reach for the most. The other scarf that I have, which I just, I love it. So I have not, I have not departed from it, although it's not the most practical because it is not an infinity scarf and sometimes it kind of like, you're just like, what is going on here? But I do really like it. I like that it gives a little bit of color, it makes things a little bit more exciting than just a black scarf. Um, I think this is from Anthropology a long time ago. Uh, it's woolen, 
so yeah it's wool it's also dry clean only which you know again i think you should check your clothes and check before you purchase anything whether it's dry clean only because realistically are you going to do that and if you put this baby in the dryer it's ruined for life so keep that in mind i probably would not buy something like this again but i do love it i do love the pattern i do appreciate that it's like an artisanal scarf so two scarves for me okay then going through my little ski stash something that i forgot about were my inner gloves that i use so obviously these are not like the hardcore gloves that you would use when you go skiing but these are like the lining ones um these have a bit of grip i like that they have like full fingers because sometimes you really need that i know it's obviously challenging with your phone but if you were really cold and you need a couple of gloves these are really nice and then i have another pair which are like fingerless and woolen so these are really cozy and warm but if it's wet and snowy or you know they're not going to be the best they, you're still going to have your fingers sticking out and they're still going to be pretty cold but they are useful when you have to reach for uh, your credit card or your phone or opening your bag or some kind of kid related item but you definitely need a nice pair of gloves and if you invest in good quality ones that wash well you can keep them for a long time all right so taking more inspiration from both my ski box and the sleeves i realized that where i was going majorly wrong were my legs meaning i had the top situation down you know i had the thermal layer and then i had a vest and then i would have a jacket but my legs would be freezing and it's because i wasn't layering up and i just had these i had two pairs of like nice high quality skiing i guess like thermal underwear long johns whatever you want to call them pants this is like pants to me just in my closet doing nothing and they're black they're super easy they're just these ones are like from these are from patagonia so really nice quality and i'm gonna start wearing double pants because i think that's where i was going wrong all these years <laughs> obviously you need to be able to find pants that will fit over these so that's something to keep in mind but if you're able to layer up your legs i think it's a very underutilized area when it comes to winter wear and it's going to keep you nice and toasty and hey if it's really hot and you're absolutely dying because you've got double clothes on, uh, you can go and change and take off a pair of pants. It's not a big deal. And then the last obvious thing is to have really nice quality socks. So um, either like these are just sort of like thinnish socks that will fit nicely underneath my boots. Um, you can also use like the proper ski wool socks as well. And in that way also, I think good thing because you don't necessarily have to buy super high hot boots and when I mean that it's like if you've ever walked into a store after being outside in the cold or, or a restaurant or something and your boots are really really high and tight they are so hot and you can't take them off like you need to wear shoes so you're not as likely to be you know uh, carrying an extra pair of shoes with you so if you wear proper nice thermal socks uh, you could always, I mean, you could always take them off or you could just lower them down, put on normal shoes. I like mid-ankle boots because I feel like it gives you the versatility if you don't want to have millions of pairs of boots because, you know, we are trying to be more simple, simple over here. I think it gives you the versatility because the socks can kind of stick out a little bit, you can push this down, it looks really cute, but it's also very versatile and your feet aren't going to fry when you go from outside to inside. So those are my five super easy tips on how you can upgrade your wardrobe from what you already have from kind of a fall cooler weather to hardcore winter weather with ease, right? Without spending a lot of money, with having different options, with staying toasty and warm and cozy, but also being able to take off the layers if you get really, really hot. So if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you check the check off the notification bell. I also have lots of free resources that I will list in the description box, namely a Facebook group, a free mini course where you can get a video every day for five days. Literally, it just gets sent to your inbox and it's a great way to start your organization and minimalist journey to really think about your habits and understand why you're doing the same things over and over again if they're not working for you. As well as I have a waitlist link to sign up to my signature course, which is called The Organized Mom, which is all about getting your life back on track, getting more me time back, 
and just putting you on the right path as we finish 2020, go into 2021. We want to start fresh. We want to start strong. Why wait until the new year to change your life? Make sure that you're following me on Instagram for all updates related to that. As always, please send me a message, comment down below. What video would you like me to do next? And I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.